other interesting culture news, you have the Bond King Bill sell a stamp for $4.4 million, which collectibles always fascinate me. It's a very interesting thing. Now, this is brought to us thanks to Fox Business, which is somehow still in business. And specifically, the writer attributed to this is Summer Park. And they say, quote, Bond King Bill gross sells rare Z grill stamp for $4.4 million is considered the rarest of grill variants. Which, again, that's a lot, to say the least. They say, America's most valuable postage stamp sold for nearly 4.4 last Friday. The 1896 one-cent Z-Grill was sold as part of a collection owned by Bond King Bill Gross, who co-founded asset management from firm Pacific Investment Management Co., otherwise known as PIMCO. The winning bidder, of course, chose to remain anonymous. Well, I would hope so. <laughs> it's one of those things where, oh, another sad thing about collecting is most likely this will end up in a safety deposit box, because unless you have the best mansion, best security, and best safe, the insurance companies, because you're going to insure this, they're probably going to want something, you're going to want security over the top, so to say. Now, they said, well, it's the first time that the stamp has been sold in 26 years, and among stamp enthusiasts, it is considered the most coveted. The Z Grill stamp completes the entire collection that includes one of every postage stamp issued by the U.S. Postal Service since 1847. The Z Grill stamp came in a custom made Z Grill Louis Vuitton trunk, which holds the stamp in a acrylic frame. Which, that is pretty nice. Because again, one of the issues with, again, collectibles and especially paper materials, long term over time, if they're not stored properly, they can of course degrade more and more over time. And before you know it, it's basically worthless. Which, again, I can't imagine how many action comic, bo action comic books one just disintegrated throughout the years. Which is most famously known for being the first comic book we had uh, Superman in it. Now, the... Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty good. It looks like it's... Uh, I've gotten 2005. Can't imagine spending so much on a piece of paper. Which, again, I understand the historical significance. And truth be told, I, I'm fascinated by it. I have a couple... They're not worth anything because they have little dings in it. So from a collective perspective, they're useless. I have a couple, like, old 1853 pennies from the U.S., which are hilariously big. It's, like, the size of a current quarter. And, of course, it's, you know, made of real metal, not the cheap... Nearly the Chinese quality metal we use these days in all our coinage. There's a picture of Bill right there. Which, yeah, four million dollars on a stamp. Can't imagine having that much disposable income. Literally a house or a car or many cars. But again, to each their own, and is a piece of American history, and is kind of captures a moment in time. Talk about a great. I don't know what you. I don't think it specifies what you paid for it, but talk about a great return on investment. I mean, from a cultural perspective, it is kind of fascinating because, again, years ago, and I tribute to all I love, I love history. I mean, one of the biggest things in the U.S. used to be collecting stamps. I have a whole you know, little booklet from the ones my parents collected throughout the years, and granted, because so many people start collecting them, like many collectibles, most of them are worth nothing. Kind of like comics back in the day, there's so many, they're actually not even worth the paper they were printed on. Because the market was so oversaturated. We saw this with baseball cards. There's a couple of years where once people started to think of it as a collectible and investment, well, the car companies took notice. They started to increase and ramp up production exponentially. And before you know it, there's just too many. And of course, you know, scarcity is one of the biggest indi one of the biggest factors when it comes to collectibles. But before long, there's a, there's a couple of years where baseball cards are just garbage. Having said, now there's one signed by Tom Brady that went for like millions of dollars. Which again, they were limited. They only had a certain number they made. I think they made like 200 of those cards. Also helps that he's the most famous sports balls player that I could possibly think of lately. But I mean, culturally speaking, it's been a long time since we talked about stamps. I don't, I don't think they'll ever come back as a collectible. Because again, most stamps nowadays, they used to be works of art, really beautiful looking. So culturally, I think it's a little sad that we don't collect them anymore. But let me know if you ever. We think I should put more of these interesting kind of random cultural stuff in, in the comments set or in the in the show. And do you know anyone, I mean, anecdotally, do you know anyone yourself who actually did collect stamps? They do collect stamps? Creepy though, I don't. But as always, let me know in the comments because I'd be fascinated to hear what you have to say. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you could click that button, I greatly appreciate it. Also, leaving a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment is a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.